So have some different translations out. Um, I mean, if you only have one, use one. But today with tele um, our cell phones and stuff, you can download like from biblehub.com and other places. You can get access instantly to, you know, 30 or 40 different translations. Get a couple of good translations. I just realized we left the bag on the microscope. <laughs> The what? The bag on the microscope. Oh, okay. <laughs> Cut that. So, uh, take three. <laughs> All right. Greetings to all the saints across the nation and around the world. My name is Charlotte and welcome to another update at Evidence for Faith. It's been just a little over two weeks since our last vlog. So here's a quick rundown of what we've been up to. First things first, we added the last of the foam to the interior of the studio, insulated it, and by the time this video is up, the paneling on the outside should be finished as well. I will be posting a full length studio tour with Michael for those who are curious about all the little details. The last big item we were waiting on was a video editing computer and that has also arrived this week. So very exciting things ahead. We have officially published our first three courses. These are very short one lesson courses you can check out for free at our learning site. The link will be right here on the screen and also in the description down below. These courses are very short because we're still uh, kind of beta testing our system, delivery system and we want to get some feedback from people. So the big question is, will there be longer courses? Yes, absolutely. Our next course is actually going to be a series. Uh, it's Michael's series on science and the Bible. I know that one has at least six individual sessions. I think that's up to nine now since he's been updating it. So that will be a much longer course that you can take. And there'll be handouts and PowerPoints and that type of stuff that you can download and print out for personal study to use in your group. We have updated Michael's summer schedule on the website. I have even linked uh, to all the different locations he will be at if it's a public event. There are a few private events on there. Um, most of these events are free to attend except for the ones were noted otherwise. Um, so you'll see there's a Riverside Bible Camp that we'll be speaking at. Uh, that one obviously you have to sign up to the camp in order to attend. Um, but I do know there's some people that found us at Conover. We will be back up there. So if you want to attend an event, just check out our bookings page. We are starting to fill out our fall calendar, um, which that will quickly become our winter calendar. So if you want to get in on that, uh, make sure you contact our lovely executive assistant, Denise, um, to get on that calendar. As far as giving goes, we are at 32% of our monthly giving goal. Now, what does that really mean? So we've been able to operate uh, over the last few months, thanks in majority to a lot of one-time gifts. Um, we are aiming to raise about 12,000 to 13,000 monthly. So we have, with a team of people that are supporting us monthly now, that's about $4,000 that's covered and the one-time donations have really filled in that gap. Now, if you still have questions about our ministry or what we're doing, please don't hesitate to reach out to us. We're more than happy to answer your questions. I'm trying to publish as much as possible on the blog, on the website, um, so you guys can get a good idea of what we're doing, it, how we're doing it, and why we're doing it. We actually received a really sweet email that I think perfectly expresses why Evidence for Faith is so important right now. Now, this was from uh, Jackie, and this is what she says. I could have so benefited from this when I was in high school. I graduated from a Christian high school. From fourth grade on, I was in a Christian education. When I was 16, I got out into the working world and met atheists for the first time. They asked me how I could believe the Bible when it comes to our origins. I had no answers for them. I stopped telling people I was a Christian. That eroded my faith until I was so deep in sin. God rescued me at 29, praying that this ministry can keep kids from going down my path. Now this may sound like a very familiar story and I'm sure it's familiar to a lot of us. Actually, this, this exact story is something that my own pastor just touched on last week. Our goal is to provide as many tools as possible so that anyone at any point in their walk with Christ um, can defend their faith and stand on their own two feet. And on that note, I'm gonna wrap up this update. Um, thank you again for watching. You can connect with us by liking, sharing, commenting. You can send us an email and you can find us at all our social links in the description. May the Holy Spirit be with you and I will see you on the next update.